Welcome back guys. Today's day 167 and my name is Christian. Today's daily Bible reading. Today we're going to be reading Acts 27, 9 through 26. Let's go ahead and start that. Now when much time had been spent and sailing was now dangerous because of the fast was already over, Paul advised them saying, Men, I perceive that this voyage will end with disaster and much loss, not only of the cargo and ship, but also our lives. Nevertheless, the centurion was more persuaded by the helmsman and the owner of the ship than by the things spoken by Paul. And because the harbor was not suitable to winter in, the majority advised to set sail from there also, if by any means they could reach Phoenix, a harbor of Crete opening toward the southwest and northwest, and winter there. When the south wind blew softly, supposing that they had obtained their desire, putting out to sea, they sailed close by Crete. But not long after, a tempestuous headwind arose called Eroclodon. So when the ship was caught and could not head into the wind, we let her drive, and running under the shelter of an island called Clauda, we secured the skiff with difficulty. When they had taken it on board, they used cables to undergird the ship, and fearing lest they run aground on Zerda sands, they struck sail and so were driven. And because we were exceedingly tempest-tossed, the next day they lightened the ship. On the third day, we threw the ship's tackle overboard with our own hands. Now when neither sun nor stars appeared for many days, and no small tempest beat on us, all hope that we would be saved was finally given up. But after a long abstinence from food, then Paul stood in the midst of them and said, Men, you should have listened to me, and not have sailed from Crete and incurred this disaster and loss. And now I urge you to take heart, for there will be no loss of life among you, but only of the ship. For there stood by me this night an angel of the God to whom I belong and whom I serve, saying, Do not be afraid, Paul. You must be brought before Caesar, and indeed God has granted you all those who sail with you. Therefore take heart, men, for I believe God that it will be just as it was told me. However, we must run aground on a certain island. Let's go ahead and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for your blessings and your favor, God. I just pray for my family and my friends that you're with them, God, and you give them favor. Lord, I pray healing upon anyone listening to this and any of my coworkers. Lord, I just pray for patience. pray for your wisdom, your knowledge, and understanding, God, and please show us the path we should take and the boldness to spread your word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. For day 168, go ahead and click on the link on the screen, and I'll see you guys in the next one.